Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, the latest from Jamaica's Caymanis Park. Saturday's action highlighted by jockey Radish Roman's four-timer. We check in on Barbados Racing, the Christopher Amon Memorial Race, and a look ahead to Saturday's Guineas, kicking off the Triple Crown Series at the Garrison Savannah. And as usual, there's always a Sappy Joseph story. This time, the Barbadian trainer celebrates his richest ever purse win with his five-year-old Skippy Long Stocking in the $1.25 million Oaklawn Handicap Stakes in Arkansas. Plus the usual check-in on Caribbean success in the USA. Our opening story from Jamaica. Where Saturday's richest event was the restricted stakes eighth race with a purse of 1.19 million Jamaican dollars. A nine horse field going seven and a half furlongs with a five horse Wall Street trailer. The odds on favorite. A winner twice in the USA in 2022 at Los Alamitos and Gulfstream Park. Robert Halladine aboard for this. His third start at Caymanis Park after two second place finishes last month. After a sharp break, Haladine pressed the pace early and leaving the backstretch had already claimed the lead on the rail, watched from the combox by Brian Rickman. They're approaching the final half of a mile, about to go into that turn, and a Wall Street trader now assumes the lead. Box Box left two lengths down as the tempo increased. There goes Grecian Light, Princess Amali, and Smart Asset team up in behind. Chocomo now making some late progress, has a lot of running to do as they leave the three. Strike Smart Race is next. Power from above and Royal Ash continue to share last. They've left the 516th. Wall Street Trader trying to slip away from them. Still under the hand ride at the top of the lane. Box Box, the closest pursuer, left five or six lengths back. Grecian Light is over on the rail. And Wall Street Trader is now running to the furlong pole with a clear advantage. Box Box trying to cut into it. Over on the rail, that's Grecian Light. But still, Wall Street Trader and Robert Halladine hold the lead. Box Box now begins to gain. But they're inside the final 16th. And Wall Street Trader has done enough, more than enough and will come cruising in to win by maybe four over box box. A very smart win this for Wall Street Trader, scoring with authority in the hands of top jockey Robert Halladine, who rode him like he was the best horse in the field. Currently number three on the 2024 Caymanis Park jockeys list with 19 wins. Halladine efficient here in steering the five-year-old gelding to his first win in Jamaica. Vincent Main's Wall Street Trader as a 3-5 to five favorite gets home ahead of the 6-1 to one shot box box. Trained by Rowan Matthew, Wall Street Trader wins by three and a half lengths and clocks one minute 33 and three fifths of a second for the seven and a half furlong run. The Aston Comic Memorial over a mile was the only trophy event on Saturday's nine race card. We pick up Rickman's call with a four to one bet and Tartica setting the pace with Radish Roman aboard. As they come flashing past the final 5-16th, about to come into the lane in the Aston Comic. It's Antarctica bringing them into it. Super Alex on the outside now trying to reel the leader in. Mr. Senator coming on down against the fence, but they race inside the final 3 16th. It is Antarctica. The stick now comes out in the left hand. Antarctica holding a good-looking lead. Super Alex trying to cut into it along with Cookie Day and Knight and Mr. Senator, but it is Antarctica flowing well. Radish Roman looking for a four-timer. Can Antarctica give it to him? And yes, Antarctica will in the Aston Comic Memorial Trophy. They win by four. Radish Roman voted Jamaica's most improved rider in 2020 and enjoying another good year so far in the saddle. The second four-timer in a month at Kimana Spark for the 25-year-old who had a career-best six wins on a late January card. He steers Connecticut's Antarctica to a four-and-a-half length win over Cookie Day and Night in the eight-furlong Aston Comoc for trainer Errol Waugh, clocking 142 and four-fifths. Now, in the next couple of weeks, we'll mark the second anniversary of the passing of the iconic racing commentator and administrator Chris Almond, who coincidentally shares a death date, the 11th of May, with two other Caribbean legends, reggae superstar Bob Marley and the great cricket commentator Tony Cozier. The Barbados Turf Club at its last race meet had the 2024 renewal of the Chris Almond Memorial, honoring Almond, who had a seven-year stint as Barbados Turf Club CEO, a similar position he also held at various times in Trinidad and Tobago and his native Jamaica. A three-year-old Enola horse is going five and a half furlongs for 17,000 Barbados dollars at the April 13 meet at the Garrison Savannah Racetrack. Three of these entries already with wins this year, none with stocks though as high as Melrose Racing's US bred nine-year-old gelding Lightning Lewis, the favorite to complete three straight wins. Rashid Hughes riding for trainer Robert Pierce 
Let's get the race call now from Neil Gill. They head up the hill and they're traveling quite nicely. And it is Jericho who's in the lead from on the outside. Looks like in the red cap, that is um, Noah David, who's running well. Rene is also in contention. The dancing prospector is also there. In, as AP as Navarre is also in contention at the, the back of affairs. That one is that's that's one I promise. That's the way they race as they come with just about a furlong and a half to go. And Lightning Lewis reached by horse is on the outside and just picks it up and goes away. It is Lightning Lewis and Rene is holding on for second position and down the stretch they come and it is Lightning Lewis and just pulling away from them. Lightning Lewis is going to win this one. We'll report home easily in the end. Lightning Lewis wins it. Lightning Lewis completes three straight wins and four victories in his last five starts. This his first win with a rider who is not Enrico Prescott. Multiple champion jockey Rashid Hughes aboard for this win for owner Melrose Racing and trainer Robert Pierce. As a 3-2 favourite, Lightning Lewis wins the Christopher J. Armand Memorial Handicap by two lengths over the 4-1 bet Rene. The winning margin two lengths, the time 107 and 3 fifths for five and a half furlongs at the Garrison Savannah where the Barbados 2024 Triple Crown Series kicks off this Saturday. The talented Mercedes is the favourite for the Triple Crown's first leg, the Barbados Guinness. She is coming off back-to-back -back wins in two Guinness prep races, the Michael Parvacino Breeders, and here in the Bayesian Blue Restaurant Trophy on Sandalane Gold Cup Day. She is by far the country's top three-year-old money spinner. Twelve runners entered for the 7.8 furlong trip, the Richard Dean trained Mercedes in the seven box to be ridden by Ricky Walcott, and her rivals include number one Moshara and 12 Queen of the South, who were runners up to her in the Breeders, plus the six horse Delilah and number three San Antoni, who chased her in the Bayesian Blue Restaurant. Mercedes poised to become the second filly in a row to win the Guinness after victory last year for Let It Be Me. Walcott also aboard then. And finally now to the USA, where Sapi Joseph's five-year-old horse Skippy Long Stocking won Saturday's $1.25 million Oakland handicap stakes in Arkansas, giving the Barbadian trainer his richest ever purse win. Safi already had $1 million wins in the Pennsylvania and Florida Derby races and the Charlestown Classic, but never a triumph as big as $1.25 million on offer in this Oakland handicap at Oakland Park where he had two starters, the favorite Skippy Longstocking in second spot here, going in chase of his front-running stablemate as the field rounded the far turn. County final a half length in front. Skippy Longstocking looms large on the outside, reincarnate, set hard, he's in trouble. He's been passed by Highland Falls, who picks up the running, and Skippy Longstocking with a big burst. Skippy Longstocking at the top of the lane, just opened up to a three-length lead with a nice acceleration. Highland Falls is charging into the second position. Position, reincarnate third, but it appears he's beaten at this point with a furlong to go. Skippy Longstocking, Jose Ortiz in complete control, and Skippy Longstocking skipping home to a big win and the Oakland handicap. A solid win for Skippy Longstocking, his eighth in 23 lifetime starts, six of those wins in stakes races, and jockey Jose Ortiz says the 2022 Belmont Stakes third placer got a pretty easy trip. The other horse next to me went to the lead. I was happy to just track him. And my horse was relaxed every step of the way, so I was very happy. And when I asked him to go, he, he, he responded very well. I just want to say thank you to Safi uh, and the owner to give me the opportunity to ride, to ride him. Daniel Alonso Skippy Longstocking as the 5-2 favorite wins the Oakland Handicap Stakes by two lengths over the 7-2 bet Highland Falls, clocking 149 flat for the ninth for a long trip. Trainer Safi Joseph's 93rd career stakes win this in North America, the eighth this year for the Bayesian superstar trainer, who is currently number seven on the 2024 trainers list in all of the USA, with horses earnings of 4.04 million. Safi, by the way, also had three weekend wins at Florida's Gulfstream Park, where he is the reigning champion trainer. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA before we go. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 27 victories. Among them, Barbadian jockeys pretty hot. Rocco Boyne with three wins at Thistledown, including a Monday double. Rashawn Latchman won twice at Charlestown. Rashawn Blanche, he had wins at Hawthorne and Fairmont. The Jamaican trainer Ron Crichton had four wins in Florida, three at Tampa Bay Downs and one at Gulfstream Park. And the Jamaican jockey Kiaman McGregor had two wins at Turf Paradise. We've been at the track, covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.